when I was in college, we had a, a program called SAPL, which is Sexual Aggression Peer Advocates. Um, it's a large program that was funded by um, actually a guy who's, who's um, worked with the FBI multiple times profiling sexual predators, uh, domestic violence, stalking, sexual assault. And I worked with, with them because they had a contract with the military. Um, going and they do a basically theater based show where we do skits and we highlight certain um, elements, you know, whether it's domestic violence or stalking or, or sexual assault, and then we stop and educate the crowd. And at the end, you take contacts from people and direct them to sources that can help them. Um, so I went through over 40 hours of training on this subject. I learned a lot that I didn't know about. Um, a lot of a lot of just how media still inappropriately portrays the subject that, that finally just now we're catching up to, I think, in, in pop culture. But but so I went through a lot of this, and and I was always interested in um, the idea of using art to help people. And so, but because of this coming to the show, um, I learned exactly who this person was. Um, in fact, actually, they have a they have a profile. They, I, I, one thing that drew me to it was when I read it. I, I can't remember what, but something in the breakdown made me go. I think they know they have a handle on how these guys should be portrayed because a lot of times I see this stuff and they. It's like you said, it's the SVSQ version. It's the, the creepy whatever I'm, you know. Which yeah, there are types like that, but they're not nearly the prevalent. Um, you know, uh, people do it. But we actually called the profile the nice guy. Um, they had, they were known as the nice guy, and they have a system. They have a system that she inadvertently wrote exactly in her script. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. The way you, the way you have me, um, my character, uh, you know, talk to you and then isolate you. Like they follow a formula that we. I mean, you know, I don't have to get into it right now, but these people follow a formula because we've heard it over and over and over again from people telling stories. You know, um, the simplest version is they meet someone they're usually very nice and charming. And um, then they, they make an isolating comment to get the person that they want to alone. And then they attempt consensual sex. If the person says yes, they will. And if they say no, they'll do whatever they can to get. So I knew how to play this person. You know, I, I didn't actually, it was, it was the most prepared I felt coming into an audition because I was like, I know exactly who this guy is. Um, it's uncomfortable. Like, it's, it's really weird. Um, I, had, I had to get kind of weird, like, very technical in my head of, like, objective. I'm just pursuing an objective. You know, and and then do that, and then I, I think I even did stop the. I think I probably you, stopped, you stopped the audition. That I was like, all right, I don't. You know, I, I think at this point there's not a lot else we can do without choreographing it. Mm -hmm. You know.